Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. This is Penguin Tech. With the release of the Ryzen 3000 series, many of us is going to up update our current motherboard BIOS to see whether it supports the new Ryzen 3000 series processors. Now many of the AMD motherboard manufacturers have re released new BIOS to support the Ryzen 3000 series on their existing motherboards. For example, the B350, the X370, B450 and the B X 470s. But not all of the motherboard can support the latest Ryzen 3000 series because of the thermal design of the existing motherboard. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to update your motherboard BIOS using the pen drive method. So my motherboard is actually the ASRock AB350 Gaming ITX SE here. This is the official website of it. So if you want to update your BIOS, you can go first go into your motherboard manufacturer website and search for your motherboard and then you can go into the BIOS section and if, as you can see, we have the version 5.7 here released in 3rd of July which says support for AMD next generation Ryzen processors so this BIOS will enable my motherboard to use the Ryzen 3000 series so today I'm going to inst install this onto my motherboard. So you can click download here. Okay, just download it. And then wait for it to download. And you will appear here. Now copy this onto your pen drive. So now I'm going to insert my pen drive onto my PC. See, now I'm just going to copy this and paste it into my pen drive. Now, it's actually better to use an empty pen drive because you don't want any interference when you're installing your BIOS. For example, you don't want it to be not able, you don't want it to be not detected when you insert your USB. So you need to watch out there. So now, Let's go into the BIOS of my motherboard. So I just need to restart here. And then I'm going to press F2 when it's launching. As you can see, my USB is intact here. Now I'm pressing F2. So that I go into the BIOS. Should go into BIOS now. Now here you can see that I'm on the 5.6 now. And then I'm going to upgrade it to 5.7. So in order to install the BIOS you can go into the tools here and then go into the UEFI update utility instant update and there you go it's instantly detected now you can click the update here click update and then it's going to take a while to install this now bear in mind that make sure you do not shut off your PC here as when flashing the BIOS if you shut it off in midway you might break your motherboard so be careful on that. So do nothing when it's installing and just be patient and let it do its job. So it's been about 5 minutes already and as you can see it's finishing up. Okay, now just press OK to reboot the system. I'm going to plug off my pen drive so that it doesn't interfere with anything. Now let's go back to the BIOS again to check on the BIOS version. It takes some time for the screen to appear again once the BIOS is updated. Now as you can see it is now 5.7 however all of my overclock settings is now back to the original as you can see it was 3.9 now it's 3.6 and then even the memory speed is down from 3200 to 2400 so bear in mind that after you up update your BIOS it will go back to the original settings but what I will do it's just to load my usual profile to get back to the to my overclocking settings and just gonna save and exit and we'll be back to the windows and now we're back to the to the desktop and as you can see everything is working perfectly so I hope after watching this video you learn something Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and share to your friends. 
and to those who are actually upgrading from the 1000 and 2000 series Ryzen processor to the 3000, 3000 series with an existing motherboard so that's all from me today guys thank you for watching remember to like and subscribe bye